Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the beautiful island of La Gomera and here I found some dates like no others I've ever seen. Look at this beautiful group of date trees. And this type of dates, they are growing for several kilometers along the main canals here in Valle Gran Rey. Well, the dates in Valle Gran Rey are quite interesting anyways. The Canary Island dates are a lot tastier than they are supposed to be. So I already speculated that most of the Canary Island dates are hybrids with the African dates, which were introduced to the Canary Islands about 500 years ago. But here along this canal, those dates are interesting. From a far distance, I cannot even tell if those are Canary Island dates and African dates. When I came closer, yeah, they look like Canary Island dates, but a little bit like African dates. They are a little bit thinner than the average. The, the trunks are a little bit thinner than the average Canary Island date trunk. The leaves, yeah, the one on the left with those more dropping leaves, more, more curved downwards, looks a lot like a Canary Island date. But this one here, the leaves are more gray and not so green and they are kind of more erect and then they are falling and then they are going down straight the older leaves not so curved it's hard to describe but this palm here from the just by looking at the tree i would say strange maybe a canary island phoenix canariensis but also resembling an african date palm well when you zoom in which my phone doesn't do very well you see that the leaves of this one are and uh, that the fruit of this one are bigger than the ones of normal canary date palms here is another strange one with big fruit they're a little bit closer so you can zoom in a little bit better they are the fruit are big and all of them are slightly curved and then look at those trees here. For example, this one. The fruit have a very shiny purple color. And here those in the back, they're almost black. But basically when Canary Island dates get ripe, they have a more brownish color, more like the brown ones in those bunches. But in those bunches, they are too big for normal Canary Island dates. So I guess maybe Along this canal, some century-old population of particularly tasty hybrids must have survived. Well, in La Gomera, date palms of all sorts were quite valuable because they were used to collect palm sap to make sugar and palm wine out of them. And, yeah, so those trees, those populations have been harvested for centuries and so it, it, it was of secondary importance whether they were, whether the fruit were good or whether the fruit were mediocre or useless. The most important thing was the zap. Of course, good fruit were good, but a palm tree with good fruit, you wouldn't harvest the zap because you want to harvest the fruit. So I think that's the reason basically all types of palms survived here. They still have thousands of wild canary date palm trees here and in Valle Grande and in some other adjoining areas, you still have harvesting of the palm sap. This could explain this population with lots of hybrids, some of them with pig fruit, some of them with purple to blackish fruit. I collected a bunch of fruit here. I already tried them yesterday and I wouldn't have made the video if they were not exceptionally tasty, even for Valle Grande standards. Those I use for the thumbnail, those are the more intact ones. Unfortunately, most of the fruit that are down on the ground have been picked by birds and then dropped by birds, like this one. Well, look at them. Here are those quite big curved dates, bigger than the average canary date palm, smaller than the average African date palm. And here are those dark ones. Those at least have the correct color for a ripe canary date. But those here, well, I couldn't find the really shiny purple ones. Yesterday we ate some which were almost black. But now, yeah. Well, the color of the ones I found today is not so perfect, but still. 
Yeah, but now the most important thing, the taste. First those big, normal colored ones. Normal colored, but a little bit too big. Just a couple millimeters too big. And also, quite fleshy. Look at that. That's a lot less flesh that you would expect on an African date palm, but more than you would expect on a canary date palm. And it's really tasty. Mmm. Hmm. Mm. It's more mealy, so yeah, it reminds me more of a canary date palm, but with the sweetness of an African date palm, not with the astringency of ripe canary island dates, and also with a lot more flesh. Now let's try those here, quite a puny specimen, here you can see they get a bit bigger. Mm. Also, for an African date palm, this would be a tiny amount of flesh, but for a canary date palm, this is a lot. Why don't you focus now? Come on, focus. Maybe about two millimeters. Mmm. It tastes twice really good. Mmm. This is a good find. Even the roadside canary date palms in Valle Grande are much tastier than they have a right to be if they were pure canary date palms. But those here, they are a lot tastier. You can basically take a whole handful, now I'm taking just four, but you can take like 10 or 15. Stuff them in your mouth and chew. And then you really get a lot of flesh. Mm. Yeah, definitely hybrids. If those were pure canary date palms, they would be pretty astringent. And as I said, this population extends for maybe two or three kilometers along this along this canal, interrupted by gardens and new housing development, but you can find them. Even over there, close to those cliffs back there. They are still those strange and tasty date palm hybrids. So folks, those were some dates like no others I have ever tried. Please tell me if you have ever tried dates like that, if you have experience with hybrids of canary date palm and African date palm. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of La Gomera. And if you like the video and want to support the channel, yeah, do like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a nice comment and share the information about all the fruit with your friends.